Today I want to teach you how to change any image to any color that you so want. For instance, let us design a small 8K followers here. Yeah? Now this is what we're going to do. First of all, we're going to use PixArt. Yeah. PixArt, where are you? Yeah, there you are. PixArt. And then you're going to create a new file. Click the plus icon. And then you know under here see all. Swipe, swipe, you no. Know, swipe see you get see all. Swipe up till you find a single photo. Yeah, there. Now this is the photo I want to use. I'll click on special effects, which is FX. You see? Click on colors. Yeah. Colors and say replace. Color replace. Now here and I'm going to choose green. Which color do I want to replace this thing with? Let me see. I'm going to use red. Mm. Yeah, let me use red. I'm going to add another color and see select this edge here and then see make it red. Add here, select the very yeah, and see make it red. Now, this is it. You have changed it from green to red. Now, you're going to download it. Save it as a PNG file. It's, it's saved already. Now we are going to open our Pexel Lab. Let's say we create a new design. Uh, blank. We are going to make the image size. Will be 1000 1000 by 1280 now this is it first of all let's import let's import our subject image subject yeah click on here bring this guy over here mm -hmm. it's okay here we'll lock it in place what are we going to do next we add our text our 8k um, 8k followers now for the font font we are going to use under my fonts magnite black yeah we are going to use magnite black I put it here and put it underneath this guy or my phone screen is but i'll just send it to the back easy peasy done next i am going to select color i'm going to lock it in place and find the suitable color i'll use gradients i'll use this very first one but then i will choose from these subjects select the red and it's okay and then this other side of it i'll select the same object again and make it lighter and then yeah yes no i don't think that's enough mm -mm. yeah i think this is enough Yeah, that is 8K. What next? We're going to add another, another text. Thank you. Thank, okay, let's say thanks. Thanks for. Yeah. No. You're going to add space twice and twice in front. And then we bring it here. And change the font to this font. This new, I will send you all this to your um, mm, what's 
the name of this new font that I just downloaded. A Billish, Billy Eilish, Billy Ashley, yeah, Billy Ashley, Billy Ashley, where are you? Yeah, Billy Ashley. Billy Ashley is going to be all black. Billy Ashley is going to be all black. And then we're gone. Then we're going to import our company logo. Let's go to downloads. Then we're going to swipe down to uh, let me choose my company logo and then we're going to reduce it down, add it down here. And then we're going to take out the uh, uh, colors we don't want for this instance. We're going to take, take out black now, black is off, and then we are going to uh, replace the color with that which is present already and we're going to lock that in place too so we're done here yeah we're going to add a circle space go down to um <coughs> opacity opacity uh leave it at 100 stroke add stroke no no you're not going to blow Stroke, you put stroke like this, and then you're going to reduce this uh, to this size. As for the color, you choose gradient, choose this red, and then for the stroke gradient, you choose the same red too. But for the opacity, stroke opacity, you're going to reduce it by 14, or uh, let's say uh, 40 percent. Now we increase it. And put it here. Put it somewhere here. Now we're going to duplicate that. <clears throat> we're going to duplicate that and uh, reduce the opacity to zero. Why? Because we only need the shadow. Because it's exact replica of this. Now we don't know. Um, when I add my shadow. Yeah, there you go. Increase it a little bit and put it underneath this guy. Underneath this guy, yeah. Lock, okay, no, lock. And then let's choose, yeah, let's choose this. Now let's add shape. Let's keep it at right angle, yeah. And then you're gonna drag, and then make it uh, correct like this, and then you slant it a little bit like this and put it here. And then you're gonna put it all, the, okay, let's see, let me send it to the back first. And bring it all the way here. Mm -hmm. And let's say I'm going. Oh shit! I'm gonna say its percentage by uh fourteen percent or twenty. Since I think twenty looks good. Now let me take it out a little bit. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Looks good, yeah. Now let me text. I have reached a milestone of eight thousand followers. 
all wouldn't have been possible without your immense support. I love you all. What is happening? Thank you, 8,000 followers. You all are the best. Mm -hmm. I'm going to reduce this and make sure it fits here. And then we're going to select this. We're going to make it all the all black. Now we are almost done. So let me add blur effect. Let's go here and select our object tool. Uh, if you know how to make this gradient, you're gonna select this. No, no, no. Opacity is zero. And then let's look for our stroke. Stroke should be hundred percent. And then uh, uh gra gradient blur by uh, let's see. 17% or 18 and then you reduce it to zero and then voila you have this and then you can decide to send this to the back and then make a copy out of it reduce it bring it here send it to the back and make another copy enlarge it and bring it somewhere to bring it somewhere somewhere here and you're done